Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Venus and Adonis, which at the moment is about a couple of horses. Uh, you would think that it would be about Venus and Adonis, but we've, we've taken a little bit of a detour. We're in stanzas 53 to 56 today, and Venus was trying to court Adonis, who wanted nothing to do with it, so he went to get his horse, but then a mare came by and Adonis's steed saw the mare and started going over there so that the horses can do their thing since Venus and Adonis are not doing their thing. And we've spent the last couple days listening to how perfect a horse this steed is. And he goes over to, you know, sort of make his move on the mare and she can tell that he's into it. So she acts all coy and everything. And then stanza 53 picks up saying, then, like a melancholy malcontent, he veils his tail that, falling like a plume, cool shadow to his melting buttock lent. He stamps and bites the poor flies in his fume. His love, perceiving how he is enraged, grew kinder, and his fury was assuaged. His testy master goeth about to take him, when lo, the unbacked breeder, full of fear, jealous of catching, swiftly doth forsake him, with her the horse, and left Adonis there. As they were mad unto the wood they hie them, outstripping crows that strive to overfly them. All swollen with chafing, down Adonis sits, banning his boisterous and unruly beast. And now the happy season once more fits that lovesick love by pleading may be blessed. For lovers say the heart hath treble wrong when it is barred the aidance of the tongue. An oven that is stopped or river stayed burneth more hotly, swelleth with more rage. So of concealed sorrow may be said. Free vent of words love's fire doth assuage. But when the heart's attorney once is mute, the client breaks as desperate in his suit. So to sort of round out the saga of the horses here, um, when the mare is acting all coy, the steed gets all upset and starts stamping his feet and stuff, and she can tell that he's annoyed, so she becomes kinder and more receptive to what's going on. So Adonis tries one more time to stop him, but that doesn't work. It spooks the mare and she runs off. The steed runs after him. Adonis is thrown from the horse or gets off of the horse. And the horses run off into the woods to do what horses are going to do in the woods. And Adonis sits down all angry about what has just happened. And he just sits there fuming and cursing his horse and all that sort of thing. But this does set up an opportunity for some more human interaction. And we will get back towards that in tomorrow's stanzas. So I will see you then. Mwah.